She's 5'8". <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, you guys leave him to recuperate, get his bearings, see if you guys can find any more properly fitting clothing before he goes into town, that sort of stuff. <laughs> As you guys are walking away, he does say something. Oh, and uh, one more thing. There it yes. is. Yeah! You're all good folk. Doing all this. I know you came here on a divine quest, but... You earned that quest. And you're earning your keep. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. We can thank each other by putting an end to this. America and Tolos aren't exactly ready to medically clear him for travel. Duty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for huh. duty. Which, like, like, that's the thing, right? Like, there's only so much they can do. Time has to take the rest of it. They can accelerate his healing, but it's not instantaneous healing. Yeah. So again, there's only so much there's only so much they can do. That being said, Amber makes drugs. Hell yeah. <laughs> and in a manner similar to when Blair had her arm broken or Anushka had her arm ripped off. Um, it it can make some very, very, very they she can make some very, very potent painkillers. So he's probably gonna move at like half speed and stuff, but it won't be like a Torturous movement. He'll be able to move. <laughs> she just like here's take a sniff of this. He's like, ah, there we go. <laughs> Looks good shit. <laughs> it's good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> just running faster than Morgan now. Whoa! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, uh, don't actually give Columbo wait. cocaine. It's <laughs> Columbo. Oh my Co god, their heartbeat is, oh god, is fa combo. fading. How do I? I don't have a defibrillator. You have cocaine. <laughs> It's going faster. Nope. He's fit for duty. Huh? Why? Because America could give him a regenerative augment. Oh, that would be perfect. Wow. Give him what a few a minutes, way. and he's like, "All right." <laughs> well, no, he is not fit for duty in that sense. He will need to have his on him constantly in order just to operate normally. Right. He's fit for oh, roaming hey. about and doing some some investigating. You're the give, equivalent of giving him a magical exosuit to operate in. <laughs> <laughs> Mecha Columbo. Amber does, like, yeah, like, the three medical people, I'll call them, are, like, talking about it. Amber does bring up the idea of just drugging him the fuck up. It'll get him operative. And, tell, and again, you guys are on a time crunch. Wait. What, what did you say? Drugs? No, not... Sorry, Amber, sorry. She looks at Torrent, who's, like, conjured. But they it gurgles again, just or like a rolling of a tide more than a gurgle, I guess. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm 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 still getting used to this. I I have an idea. Let's hear it. And then she begins writing an augment for Richter. What's this then? It's uh, I suppose you call it a a charm or a talisman. This will help your body recover and keep it operative while we're out in the field. Ah, charms. You know, my wife used to know someone that knew all about this stuff. <laughs> as soon as she asked, oh, what's this then? I knew exactly where that was fucking going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I'm curious to meet them. Oh, I can. If he's still around, I'll introduce you. Goes by the name of uh, Hilbrin out in the capital. <laughs> Wait. Well, I'd be curious about learning anything about them. Right, the. He tells us that snakes, the rolling of <laughs> waves and tides. I think that is a yes. Well, thank you, Snake, and you as well, Snake. <laughs> snake. Uh, I, I think at the mention of Hellbrent, we're gonna snap our fingers because Garth just remembered yeah. he also mentioned a uh, Bella, and we assume it was Bella's song. So. <laughs> No, she's not gonna hit him with the line. She does. She didn't earn that line. Uh, she she would ask him. Was like, oh, by the way, in your notes, it mentioned someone named Bella. Was that 
Belle Lasson? You know Belle Lasson. Gods be praised. Small world, huh? How's she doing? Shockingly so. Um, She's still an ice queen. She gives off the vibes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course she is. We're working under a uh, a friend of hers. Friend? I'd say that's the right term. He corks an eyebrow. A friend. And you're being dodgy about who it is. It ain't lost on me that she is a royal guard inquisitor. The only only sneaky people the royal guard would work with would be the special watch. That's a fair assumption. <clears throat> you have friends in high places. And dark places. Careful of that. Yeah. Don't we know it. Mm-hmm. So that time for uh teleportation. Mm. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's move people aside. Uh, but let me change the music. Now we got that the cell on board. Let's see what to play. What to play? Let's play. Let's play. Hmm. On showdown is going to be too dramatic for, for this, I think. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I do love it. Damn. I do love it, but yeah, not, 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 we're not, we're not there. Um, so if you put on accidentally nudge nudge rage of demon, uh, you know, does does he appear? <laughs> We'll come back to that. Uh, let's see. Oh. Um, Don't say it like that. We'll come back to it. Don't worry. <laughs> it's um, rude. Gathering of deer. Snowfall. Uh, no. Ode to a Dying Storm. I think we played that last time. I am a storm that yeah, I think I like Ode to a Dying Storm. It's got, it's got enough energy about it. Maybe a bit too much at later parts, we'll say. Um... Uh, oh, I saw what O posted. Let me hit him with um, F. There we go. All right, so you ready? You guys ready your teleportation circle in the same way me, Garf, and Alec were the ones playing a horror game. Only one of us did the work. <laughs> <laughs> you ready a teleportation circle, Silas, with the moral support of your friends? I guess. <laughs> I, I, and I, that I, means I, more to them than they could ever say. Nerd! Nerd! No, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You. <laughs> you should try to say it, though. What is that? No. The teleportation circle is not around for any longer than six seconds before it is activated, bringing with it two people. One, Mr. Keaton Hawk, and one, Lord K. Devrim. Well, who is, like, stanced up as you, he teleports in, and Keaton's trying to copy him, but it doesn't pull off as well. Yes, he does. Lord Devrim has like, his, has, like, his thumbs tucked under his belt, like, triumphantly, where Keaton's trying to mimic the manner, but he keeps looking at Lord Devrim, trying to, like, mimic it, which sort of breaks the <laughs> value of it in a natural <laughs> way. God, I never get accustomed to that. <laughs> Well, well, looks like the cavalry's here. Look what oh, the cavalry's hey. in, huh? <laughs> hey, you're here too. It pads Silas on the side. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Silas is conflicted. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. <laughs> the boulder is conflicted. <laughs> Silas was just told being called a cat is racist. What do they do? <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys are doing alright. I was made abreast of the situation from... Sir Melzus. Which means you have something for us. He reaches into a, not a gun holster, but equivocally like a scroll, like a carrier that he has like tucked onto his belt. On like pulls it out from its little quote unquote like leather wrapping, almost like the way bullets are stored, like just wrapped around it in the middle. Pulls it out. Got it right here. An edict of Lord's authority. Very good. So which one of you wants the fun, fun task of delivering it to the town? Well, all about that. Huh? Amber's like, <laughs> holding both her hands together like, well! <laughs> and she gestures it over towards Chapman Feldman. He has a really booming, intimidating Person. voice. <laughs> I mean. And she agreed to help already. 
You see Chap and Fabian way over there slam his key. <laughs> Good day to you, Abedwaito. And to you, <laughs> Chap and Fabian. Why does he sound so like, oh god. <laughs> I don't know this shit. He's, he's afraid of uh, public speaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is one of the people oh, that's going to be real. watching. Everyone's going to know. <laughs> that's an interesting move. Fair play, though. Then you can give it to the good chaplain. He gives it over to Amber. Don't open it. I wasn't gonna open it. I know what happens. Just checking. He looks guys across you. Got some new faces here. He looks at your center. Company's ever growing, isn't it? Like a snowball at this point, rolling down a very large hill. But I can <laughs> Where we're going, we're going to need a lot more faces. Uh, speaking roll, of... Uh, roll, why'd oh. you say that? Roll me a persuasion check. Persuasion. Take a bardic. Do so have advantage. Bardic for that. A bardic. With advantage yeah. and guidance and also a... Take, a scaldic. A scaldic and... Take a, and... <laughs> take, a <D10. laughs> take a D10 from scaldic from... Uh... Maybe <laughs> Lizzie or Altani. Probably Lizzie. From Lizzie. Does Richter also have a bonus? Take a... Take a d6 from Tolis. This is going to be a very, very hard check. I'll just, I'll just click uh, Celestial oh Wheel. D4, D6, D8, <laughs> D10. Just send the whole fucking king to Google. Uh, let's, let's see. Uh, D4, D6, a D8, and a D10. Take it all. Uh, advantage and Persuasion. <laughs> what is that? Couldn't ask for much. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Did you roll an 18? Jesus yeah. Christ, uh, dude. Do, do you oh, know the DC was? that to 50? Uh, That's some good shit. Nice, oh, it's DC. Oh, you guys got to get to 50? Um, uh, Violet could give him plus three, couldn't they? That's one time she's calling in for the whole fucking day. Yeah. True. Um, Let's see. Oh, wait. Uh, she's not doing uh, that. I can Those do plus rogue three. inspiration. Hmm. There you go. So I'll roll sure? a D6 on top of that. Seems to be a four. Give me four. No! Oh, what? No! That's okay, so you can have contradictory influence. It's another D four. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to get to. I ju we just yeah. need a three. Right. It's not enough. I need a three. No! Good. Oh damn! Fucking. Ah! Watch as it was like hands over a, like a three. <laughs> <laughs> ten I mean, ten minutes before you you attuned to his last or no his last wish doesn't need attunement does it? <laughs> Not for River Company members. Throws the ring at you. <laughs> oh, no. oh, that close cool? yet so far. Oh. Uh, just kidding, the DC was 45. Okay. <laughs> I, know. I was wondering how much you had to throw on it. You know. Everything. <laughs> Literally everything in the kitchen sink. Mm -hmm. You say that like, oh, we need more faces. And he just sort of like... He like, he just sort of whistles like... <laughs> I guess about that's whistle more like just sucks in wind like... That's so interesting. <laughs> he looks like Keaton Hawk as he says that. He just blinks a couple times. Is that interest? Is it interesting, sir? <laughs> no, no, just thinking aloud. He, he look, Keaton looks at you outside like I don't, I don't, I, I don't know, <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to to kind of put on my ideas, uh, I'll just go ahead and say to uh, to Keaton, you sticking around, Mister Hawk. I'm still on leave. Fresh out of the uh, Slayer recovery unit. Had slime all around me, or what I think is slime. But I'm ready to go. Good. Morgan, you know exactly what he was put into because you went into it as well. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. extra thick water, quote unquote. It's chemical the concoction. thick water that you want to drink, but shouldn't. Well, it's uh, good to see you, Gim Keaton. By the way, nice clothes. Thanks. They uh, had to be a bit mended after our little mission. He looks at Vaso and like does like a nod. <laughs> but uh, ready? Yeah. Uh, I did. Uh, if you don't mind, I did bring this, and he gestures at a shield he has on his back. Uh, last time I tried to guard with my arm, and there wasn't a shield there, so I thought maybe this time bring it just in case. He's taking a Captain America approach, shield in one uh, on one arm, gun in the other. Gun in the other. <laughs> Reloading's gonna be a bitch, but uh, 
Zal's like, hold on now. Wait, hold on. <laughs> what? Reload? <laughs> <laughs> what hey, uh, Keaton, you and I should talk after this. Sure. Why? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. After this. After this. He's gonna have a magazine fed gun and a shield. He really is just Captain America at this point. <laughs> so, um, a cowboy, Captain America. Uh, you guys are good to go. A... If you yeah, so wish. Um, consider oh. me curious, but, uh,. Lord Ian ain't with you. He shakes his head really slowly. Fair not. Things uh escalated. Is he what okay? do you mean? Hmm. He's safe. Oh, that's not a yes. <laughs> He's confined. Confined. Right. He's and no neutralized in a non-lethal manner. What? My lord, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. He's my cousin. Can you fucking just say it? <laughs> I, I hear you. I hear you. He's His state flared up while we we're roaming. Traveling in Capital Freeside, it. I'm counting my blessings that no one got hurt. No one deserved to have been hurt, and he would have ruined him something fierce if anyone had. He's detained, held in stasis, but he can't stay there. We're not throwing him in a sanctum. We're not putting him in the Maestro's Academy. He can't stay that way. I'm not going to allow it. So, the search continues. That being said, when I heard about this, gestures at all of you guys, this happening all around, and that the, your friend in the capital is pulling some strings with the church I figured there was something there for me as well it was offered to me by your friend in the capital so here I am I help you I don't know how much I can help to be honest with you I wouldn't have got to talk to your arbitrator but I help and you might be able to pull Ian out of that state for a little while longer If nothing else, I don't want him to be stuck in stasis, and if something happens to me, he stays that way in stasis. As long as you're here, we won't let nothing happen to you. <laughs> as if you can't take care of yourself. I won't slow you down. Don't worry. That being said, this, he just he pats the gun at his hip. Don't know if I'm clear to use this for your guys' quest. As much as that would probably be helpful, and as much as I would like to. I take the damn thing out in like a couple shots. We'll see. Well, we won't say. Not <laughs> not to use it. Unless you guys happen to have something that can trade for it. Trade. I'm sorry, trade? If you guys have an art religious relic in your custody, we can trade it. One divinity for another. I'm not <laughs> altering the scales one way or the other. I'm, everything's still balanced. We leave one in the custody of the arbitrator, and I get to use Daybreak. So, looks around to see if anyone volunteers for religious artifact. The, I think the only person that is queered for it is Kasai. Oh, yeah, she does. It's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not just like a powerful magic item. It has to be a religious yeah. artifact. Mm -hmm. Like, w wasn't the uh, the moon shard a religious artifact? If you want to sacrifice that. The thing is, it had to be the great sword. It can't be the holster. Because the oh, great sword okay. has... Actually, no, you'd have to give up both. Because they were the artifact, one so. artifact originally. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you'd have to give up both. 
Uh, what about the 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 disc, like the moon disc we got? It's not really just artifact. Because nah. like it doesn't have, it's not just thing. religious. It has to be high up religious. Like you can take these weapons to legendary status re religious artifact. Mm -hmm. Maybe not now, but eventually. Um, and it has to be a weapon. It has to be something of equal value. So yeah, mm -hmm. a weapon. Hey, hey, don't look too glum. I can use a normal gun just fine. Sure, Alessandra could confirm that. I mean... Just I mean... Not sure. I, 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 very so well? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Insufferable, you. I see where you're... You don't fall too far from your auntie. Ooh, he begins, like, tugging at his, like, collar. Ooh. <laughs> I'll turn in custody of Daybreak to the Arbitrator, and we'll see about the thereafter. <laughs> after. Bless you. But, uh, I'm gonna get accustomed to everything. Give me a little bit. I want to see that, he points at Chapman Fabian, being put to use. That's a rare thing to see, especially in this day and age. So, give me a sec. He goes over to the arbitrator. He does we not all watch <laughs> unholster daybreak. Let that be known. Mm. He just turns over the whole gun belt. Are they all part of the tradition. same religious artifact? Yeah, I was gonna say his holsters. Probably something. As that's happening, Zal does go over to Keynock. So listen, I got this your magic weapon. <laughs> Zol trades magic pistol, browning high power for a revolver. <laughs> All right. It's like, now this is more like it. All right, now you're set. Now you're set. Keep a blade on you in case you know that thing runs out too fast. All right, I'll be right back. Uh, okay, where are you going? I'll be right back. He's all been walking over towards the arbitrator. Your lordship, I got you a gun. <laughs> One that you're probably up to speed on. That was <laughs> fast? Did you have one ready for me? Nope. <laughs> I'm just that smart. <laughs> you guys see Amber? I go, ah. I hate it when he does that. He's clever. Let, let him have this. Yeah. Let him have this. That's, uh... that's my one thought for the month. <laughs> <laughs> month? Okay. I thought it was like At a least quarterly he knows basis. His uh, I'll go over and uh, just quickly run, or you know, maybe not quickly, but run uh, Keaton through the Browning High Power. Funnily enough, since Keaton has like a unspecialized knowledge on firearms, he doesn't have like the stigmas, the biases of oh, like, yeah. specialization. So he actually picks up decently fast, also because you just outright tell him stuff. But he's like, okay, yeah, I get it. Okay, I get that. Okay, it makes sense. And there's always going to be one final one. Always. Poetic. <laughs> he stows underneath his armpit, because that's where the holster would be. Got your back, sir. Uh, oh, hopefully no. this isn't as uh, bad as uh, the other time. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly I like brighter. I gotta admit, um, not used to the verdancy of a non twinsian forest. And there's clear no swamp, sky. and the clear skies, and so yeah, are you sure we're in danger right now? <laughs> I think we're in more danger here than. Oh, no, maybe maybe not. I almost, I almost <laughs> said we were at, <laughs> in more danger here than the twins, but I, I forgot they're the twins. But regardless, don't let your guard down. We are dealing with something that can wear any one of our faces. On and that note, you want to be marked before you depart. Tad up, guardsman. Mm -hmm. I'll have you know, miss, I'm not a guard. I'm on leave right now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> once a cop, always a cop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think you and I properly met. Let's keep it that way. Here, take this. It takes the needle, because it's like the same as like the magic tattoos you yeah. just have. You stab. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter where I put it. He looks at you, Alcindor, as he asks that. Someone not too visible, right? 
not too visible, but someplace you can show off if need be. Somewhere I can show off if need be. All right, uh, not there. <laughs> um, Without putting on a show. Yeah. <laughs> sure. that... <laughs> he lifts up his pants legs and puts it on his knee so it's definitely not immediately visible he'd have to roll up his entire like pant leg sleeve leg i think it's called a leg pant leg, yeah yeah in order to see it but it's still relatively fast to access so when we uh use these it'd be basically like we can't do like through our clothes right you you can apply them through your clothes yes okay if it's a penetrable material like a cloth or something Right. Like, you're not going to do it through plate and stuff like that, so. Maybe leather, depending on. Whatever, besides the point. Uh, your guys' insignia this time is not the nightmare house that Lambert left behind. This time it is um, House Exorlet's insignia. A clock with an eye. Ah. The same that you guys see emblazoned on um, Violet's cloak. Although that style and coloration is a bit different. This time, Chaplain Fabian does apply one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Alexander will just do it uh, on the other side of his clavicle. Mm -hmm. Collarbone. I don't know where Sass is going to do this yet. I won't. Yeah, I don't need to worry about it no. too much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be somewhere. If it comes up, it'll come up. Yeah. yeah. So. Tramp stamp. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys set out with a chaplain and a lord. Hell yeah! We're Ooh. so cool. I know. Oh my god! Look at us. <laughs> uh oh. Um, can all of you roll me your insights? Mm -hmm. Can do. Before you guys uh, fully depart. Insight? Uh, in, in, in shite, both of in those. shite. <laughs> Jesus in Christ! Shite. I needed both of them. All right, thank you, Morgan. Oh, oh, oh you yes! Yes, right. yes, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> why? Yeah. Why? Just keep the momentum going. You keep getting twenties. Just keep. Hey, it going. you have a you have sixty nine twenties now. Nice. Yeah! Oh my god! The true victory. That's, that's yeah. That's, I, that's a victory, right? I never get another one. No. Yeah, never get another one. No. Don't never okay. get another twenty. I need them. <laughs> As you guys are exiting camp, uh, Ajax and Lizzie are going with you, and you guys see Ajax is messing around with some sort of orb around the size of like a grapefruit. You guys can hear it spin. If you guys ever seen a uh, Treasure Planet. Like the sound the orb makes, mm -hmm. the the orb. treasure map orb. It's like that, like just ching 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 sort of noise. And you said that was Ajax or Ajax. Okay. Lizzie's like watching him, hands behind her back, like you know, a good girlfriend. They're not dating though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Well, won't they? <laughs> yeah. So you guys would all catch him being probably probably the most frustrated you've ever seen a statue like him. As yeah. you could hear him hurriedly trying to move the sh 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 <laughs> like just orb around, like someone trying to force solve a Rubik's cube. Uh, there are patterns on the orb, but none of them are ever aligning as he uses it. Oh, that's a big brain puzzle. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm. Yeah, so you guys would all catch that on your way out. He's not stopping this solving. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh. I think Ajax will... Ajax. Alexander will speak <laughs> up. Ajax. Do you need to solve that now? <laughs> I would like to solve it sooner rather than later. This is what I've been searching for this whole time, and now I can't even get the damn thing open. When he says damn thing open, you guys can see Lizzie just sort of like... Ooh, oh, no, he's swearing. Oh, he's pissed. He's sad. Do you... She's like... Eh. Would you mind what? some help? No, I wouldn't mind. Mm -hmm. 
Like Neither me or Lizzie have been able to figure it out yet. Do you know what it was designed for? No. I only have my mentor's last words on it as a clue. Which are? <laughs> Let me go to my notes. I forgot if it's a thing Basso said. Or is it? It's been a while. Crack now you're looking, perch. before we leave, would we have had time to have a short rest? Mm -hmm. Yes. Cool. I just want my That's what uh, Lord Devon was like, yeah, let me, let me, give me a minute. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> let me do some bullshittery. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> I don't know. Where is you it? Think, you think Troop you as a know, keyword was probably uh, not a best... Oh yeah. Keyword to look up for my notes and stuff. Hmm. Oh, I found it. <gasps> Let's go. <laughs> Hi. Could you could you like do a solid and pin that? Sure. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> In... Prince and Strand, interest in a band, though born apart, we have the same. Let truth ring, and so truth may be delivered. It's not a rhyming sort of clue. Yeah. That is going in the first half, not gonna lie. <laughs> Sounds like music. Yeah. It does. Is there a certain... When you turn it, does it hit certain notes? He looks at you like, do you really think I'm the sort of person that would know that? <laughs> he just stares at you, I'm winking. Let me rephrase it. Could you turn it again so I can hear what the possible notes it's doing? Shing! 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 Do you guys catch it? No, it's okay. Shing! <laughs> <laughs> it's a D sharp um, and hard R. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would say, <laughs> Silas, being oh a bard, God. roll your performance with advantage. Yeah. Morgan, you're not musically good. trained, but you have a musical ear, so roll performance just straight. What about I March? Do that. I'll get him March, I would say same deal as, as uh, Morgan. Okay. Right. Oh my God, gotta give, I rolled a give the two. bard something. <laughs> yeah. I rolled a two. You rolled oh. two, two times. But wait, wait Skald is just Marshall Bard. <laughs> Also, that's a very fair point. Yeah, it's a very fair point. Yeah, roll with revenge. <clears throat> Scoop. <gasps> Nina, do you, do you want an inspiration? Because it feels wrong for Silas to get I, or not get it, but Morgan does. Or I have does. an inspiration. Yeah, I'm going to use it here. <laughs> yeah, never enough at 19. The inspiration is, is it's just another reroll, right? Without the yeah. advantage? With the advantage. Oh, well, nice. It's a whole reroll. That's yes! a much yes! better number, holy god. <laughs> much better, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so we have... Uh, you guys can all say definitively yeah. that they all sound the same. <laughs> 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 Damn, that felt like such a smart thing. Uh, uh whatever. <laughs> Silas, at a 30... What is that, 40? Yeah. At a 40, I will give you a special insight. Ooh. It has nothing to do with music. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't. <laughs> Gasp. Threads in a strand. Oh, what's usually it's if like rope clothing? It seems almost like a red herring to go on a musical front. But there is more to sound than music. Let truth ring definitely strikes a chord in you. And that's exactly the point. Music doesn't it doesn't need to be music to hold true to you. Music is very good at conveying emotion, instilling emotional agenda in people, but there are plenty of other things in your life that can make you feel emotional without music. Uh, your special hint for a 40, you're not looking for music. You're looking for a sound, nonetheless, though. Hmm. Mm. I think Silas will... And it probably isn't them. some random gibberish wah, wah sound. <laughs> 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 I 
I think uh, Silas will stare at it for a minute. Their their ears will flick every time there's a, a click. Like the or the shing. <laughs> yeah, nothing um, clicks. Like it really doesn't do anything. Like yeah. you, you don't think the turning does anything. It's a trick. <laughs> okay, so does it make the noise without turning it? No, you have to turn to make a noise. I see. But the, the you don't hear any mechanisms inside that are like yeah, like like a okay. like a safe dial. No, it's just sort of spinning it like a fidget spinner. <laughs> I don't. All the noises sound the same. It's not. It's not music, but it's definitely sound. But there's there's no mechanisms inside. At least not that you're turning right now. Damn it! But would it respond to? I don't know notes. Mm. Notes of still fond of music. I don't think so. Something about truth, though, in in what your your mentor said. Truth. I don't know yet, but it has something to do with that. If I didn't respect him so much, I would smash this thing already. <laughs> Maybe don't do that. You don't know what it does. For all we know, it could blow up. You're right. That's a fair observation. Uh, Can you hold on to this, Lizzie? I, I'm just going to keep messing around with it if it stays in my custody. Yeah, sure. She takes it. She's being trusted with his valuable objects. <laughs> um, we trust him with his offspring soon enough. Jeez, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> um, uh, From one ball to some other balls. <laughs> no! Uh, oh, wait, wait, hey, Jax, oh eat this. God. Eat this, it'll help. Oh my god. <laughs> What's with the fucking ball um, jokes tonight, I swear? We're just all over the place. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> 